video, I thought I'd go ahead and sit down and talk about some of my favorite brightening skincare products. I feel like skin brightening is something we're always looking to do because it is the picture of glowy, healthy looking skin. And so without much further ado, I'm gonna be introducing you guys to those products that I found do that for my skin. Now the first couple of products I'm gonna be discussing in this video are also the sponsor of this video who has Saturday Skin. So let's go ahead and jump into the first product I'm gonna be talking about, which is the Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. Now, this is a really nice sleep mask because it contains yuzu, which is actually like an Asian tangerine <laughs> or like small looking grapefruit. I don't know. It's in the citrus family. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's known because it is actually three times as potent as far as vitamin C goes than a lot of other citrus fruit. <laughs> So Yuzu is very high in vitamin C. Now vitamin C has a ton of benefits for the skin and I've talked about vitamin C a ton on my channel, but just to kind of breeze over some of the benefits of vitamin C. Vitamin C slows the aging process of the skin. It also helps prevent sun damage. And on top of that, it helps lessen the appearance of things like wrinkles, dark spots, and even acne. This is also antioxidant rich, which basically means it's gonna neutralize free radicals in the environment, which our skin is exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, something that's actually really unique besides the Yuzu, which is in this product specifically, is actually the formula of it because it features encapsulization. Now, it actually has visible little capsules in it which contain vitamins A, C, and E, as well as niacinamide. And the cool thing about the encapsulization technology in this product is that it actually not only delivers the freshest ingredient possible to your skin, but on top of that, encapsulating ingredients like vitamin A is actually great because it'll slowly release it onto your skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you can use something like this because it's almost like giving your skin like a drip feed of those ingredients, if that makes sense. So it's great for sensitive skin types and also this would be really good for oily skin types because it has a light to medium type of texture it's got a bit of that gel to it and it has no stickiness to it whatsoever. So you get the vitamin C benefits, you get the vitamins A, C, E, and niacinamide, which all of those are gonna work together to help prevent the aging process. It's gonna help slow down the formation of hyperpigmentation or pigmentation issues and also deal with them if they're also pre existing on your skin. And also, the Yuzu in this is cold pressed. Cold pressed is like a, a word you hear a lot thrown around like juices and stuff. So you can actually find it in products like this so your skincare can actually be as fresh as possible. Next, we're gonna move on to the Carrot Niacinamide Moisturizing Cream from Saturday Skin. Now, this contains niacinamide, which is also well known for being a great brightening type of ingredient. Niacinamides also help with hydrating the skin from within, it helps promote elasticity of the skin, and it helps also kind of dull down like blotchiness and unevenness of skin. Niacinamide also helps in hyperpigmentation because it inhibits the transfer of melanosomes from melanocytes to keratinocytes. Niacinamide is one of those ingredients that's well tolerated by a lot of different skin types, again, which is why you'll see it in a lot of different skincare products, and why it's one of those ingredients that seems to do well on a lot of different skins. Now combining that with the carrots in this, which a lot of us know are rich in beta carotene, which when you have them in the body, the body actually converts them into vitamin A. And we use topically on the skin, carrots kind of act similarly in the sense of vitamin A encouraging collagen production. Now the texture of this is quite a bit thicker than the Yuju Vitamin C Sleep Mask. This has a bit more body to it, so it's really good for dry skin. So how I actually use these is I use this at night and then I use this in the morning. So I'm kind of like using the vice versa, but it works really well for my dry skin. Oh, and by the way, both of these contain Saturday Skin's Signature 7 Peptide Mix that's going to just continually renew the skin over time. And peptides are key for the skin's ability to boost collagen and elastin for smoother, firmer looking skin. It protects my skin, keeps my skin happy and healthy, and brighter and glowier looking. So both of these are definitely products I love. I actually have a discount code which I'm going to put in the description box below in case you guys are curious about picking up these products. I've been a big fan of Saturday Skin for quite a while so I'm excited that I finally get to work with them. The next product I'm going to be talking about is the rice toner from I'm From. 
This contains 77.78 rice extract, and rice is one of those ingredients that's also known for its brightening and anti-aging properties. So much so that in fact, rice water and rice ingredients in general have been used in beauty routines for centuries in Korean skincare and Asian skincare in general. And the rice helps brighten the skin tone, like I said, but it also helps slow down the process of aging. And it does this by inhibiting the activity of elastase. So it's great for that. And I like this because this is a nice, lightweight, hydrating and moisturizing toner. So it's a great way to start off my skincare routine for my dried sensitive skin. So it's soothing, it's moisturizing, it's brightening, and it's also anti-aging. So there's many reasons why I like this. Now, another product that I love that also contains rice is this from Beauty of Joseon. This is the Glow Deep Serum. And this not only contains the rice water, which is rich in vitamin B, which is gonna help strengthen the skin's barrier, and like I said, slow down the process of aging, but this also contains 2% arbutin. Now, arbutin is an ingredient that I've talked about in the past because, again, it's one of those ingredients that's known for brightening up the skin tone. Arbutin actually suppresses the melanin activity from things like overexposure to the sun. So not only does it help prevent hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and the formation of any issues like that, but it's also gonna help treat them. Again, I like this because it's very lightweight and easy to use in my skincare routine. It's very, I would say pretty basic, but it's gonna help, again, brighten up the skin tone and prevent those signs of aging. This is definitely a product I've talked about a ton, so I'll be fairly brief with this, but I can't make a video about brightening up the skin tone and some of my favorite products for that without talking about the Milano CC. Now, now this is one of those cult favorite products that has been raved about online for years, pretty much as long as I've been into skincare, and it is for good reason because it is an excellent, pretty basic vitamin C product that's fairly foolproof. I mentioned vitamin C when I was talking about Saturday skin, so I won't go too much into the benefits of that again because this video would just get super repetitive. But I also think a reason why this is so well loved and also why I like it is because not only does it have the vitamin C, but it's also very affordable. It's also in a medium that's very easy to incorporate into your skincare routine. It has almost like a light oily type of consistency or feel. So after you cleanse your skin, it goes onto the skin very nicely. And also the packaging of this is very conducive to the vitamin C in this. Because it has like a tiny little spout and it's pretty airtight here at the tip, the product itself isn't as exposed to air, so the vitamin C in this doesn't degrade as fast as some other like vitamin C serum-y type products. So definitely something I recommend, affordable, highly effective, and it's great. I've loved this for quite some time. Now the next product I'm gonna be talking about is a mask. This is from Hada Labo and it's got quite the name. This is the Shirogen Whitening Jelly Sheet Mask. The reason that I like this is because this is a skincare product that contains tranexamic acid, which I'm probably mispronouncing. I've tried to say it like 10,000 times. It's just not rolling off my tongue. It's just one of those words. My mouth cannot form the right shapes or moves to say that word. But anyways, it's basically like a really great acid that works nicely and well on sensitive skin, but it also has the benefits of brightening up the skin tone. So it's a lot less irritating than some other hyperpigmentation-based ingredients can be for the skin. So because of that, I like to use this as a treatment like in my masks. Tranexamic acid is one of those ingredients that actually prohibits the synthesis of melanin that's UV induced within the skin. It also inhibits tyrosinase, which is another enzyme that causes hyperpigmentation in the skin. I've noticed that tranexamic acid is getting more popularity with Western skincare brands, but it's been pretty popular with like Asian skincare brands for a while. But I really like Hada Labo as a brand in general. I like this product because it does give me that like brightening treatment. And I like the sheet mask within this because it has like almost the essence is a bit jellier. So I always like jelly sheet masks. So this is another great product that I've really been liking. Talking about a, another mask product that I've been loving for brightening up my skin is the Jumiso All Day Vitamin Nourishing and Recharging Wash Off Mask. Now again, this is a treatment style skincare product. So I use this, or I was using this about one to two times a week. I actually am pretty much out of this. So I'll need to pick up another one. But this actually also, besides having the vitamin C in it, it actually gently exfoliates the skin. So you get a little bit of that like brightening aspect because it helps 
get that dead skin off the surface of your skin. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little gun shy about using like a vitamin C exfoliating type product because I do have sensitive skin, but I did find this was really gentle on my skin for being an exfoliating product, so I liked that. And I like that it just left my skin feeling a lot softer and smoother. On top of that, this contains niacinamide in it, and I feel like the idea of recharging in the name of this product is a really good way to describe how I feel after using this product. Now, this next product, again, kind of like the Milano CC, I've talked about a ton, but it doesn't feel right to not mention this product when I talk about some of my favorite brightening skincare products, and that is the Annie's Way Jelly Mask. Now, my favorite one is the Arbutin Hyaluronic Acid version, the one with the blue label, but I'm actually out of it because I've used it so many times, and I just had like this lying around, so I'm just showing you guys for demonstrative purposes, but my favorite, like I said, is the Arbutin Hyaluronic Acid version. Now, I talked about the benefits of Arbutin previously in this video, but it also has a hyaluronic acid. And the reason that I like the jelly mask from Annie's Way is because I feel like it genuinely makes my skin feel softer and bouncier and visibly brighter. I like that it's great on my sensitive skin, so it's nice and gentle. And I have seen a little bit of confusion on how to use it. Essentially how I use this is I take a generous amount and I apply a thick layer onto my skin and I will let that sit for as long as I possibly can. So I'll wear it on my skin for up to 30 minutes. It doesn't actually dry down. You wanna apply a thick enough layer so it doesn't do that. And then after the 30 minutes or however long you wear it, you basically take a spatula and kind of gently glide it off your skin or scrape it off your skin. And the nice thing about that is that kind of creates that exfoliating aspect for the mask as well, especially if you have issues with like blackheads because not only does it like soften up the skin, but it just softens everything up. So a lot of times like my blackheads will just kind of like slide out <laughs> from like my nose when I'm using it. So. It's great for that and I use it a lot of times not only for like helping with that issue, but I like it for my sensitive skin. If I have any irritation, inflammation, I spend too much time in the sun, I use it after photo shoots because there's a lot of makeup changes and my skin just needs a little bit of like calm soothingness. That is the mask I always go for. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and me discussing some of my favorite recommended brightening skincare products. I'll go ahead and put links down in the description box below for all the products, including these two guys from Saturday Skin. There's also a discount code down there, like I mentioned. I'm so excited I got to work with them and I highly recommend these products if you guys are looking for brightening up the skin tone. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!